It's time for immunization shots, and four-month-old Emily isn't happy. <laughs> Emily needs two shots today, but in the not-too-distant future, her mom may be able to administer them at home. This pill is called Mucojet, and researchers have proven that it can deliver vaccine-type drugs that would normally need to be administered with an injection. The capsule is inserted into the mouth against the cheek, where it releases a jet stream of drugs, using the same basic principles of an elementary school volcano science project. Mix different substances together to produce a chemical reaction that creates pressure and erupts. When the pressure builds up high enough and it breaks the membrane on the nozzle, then we get this jet. Your drug is now being ejected out of the, cap, out of the pill at a super high velocity, and it's coming out at a velocity that's high enough to gently permeabilize the epithelial cells and also go through the mucus. And so it's this very mild permeabilization that we're doing that essentially gets the protein across these one or two barriers that it needs to. The research is still in its early stages. Mucojet was able to deliver vaccine-type drugs effectively in rabbits, but more research is needed to see if the tech is as effective in larger mammals and eventually humans. But if it works, it could completely change the way vaccines and some other drugs are delivered. It would be great to be able to have better distribu distribution of vaccines. So you don't need nurses, especially when you're talking to rural areas. Also for parents who are worried about getting too many vaccines at one time, this would allow you to actually space out vaccines. Because you could do it at home, you don't have to do it at the doctor. The technology can prove a game changer during a health crisis when large groups of people need to be treated quickly. The scientists are also working on a version of mucojet that is swallowed and programmed to release drugs in the intestinal tract. This, they say, could one day lead to drugs like insulin being administered without an injection as well. But for now, baby Emily and her mom are just happy that shot day is over.